What's up, YouTube? It's been a long ass time since I made a video. Unfortunately, um, I had big plans to make a solid one or two last week, and the flu got in my way. So I figured I'd throw up a short video today about 2018 and the year in review and my goals for 2019. Um, so let's get to it. Um, anyway, yeah, 2018, obviously, there was a lot that I had started, um, of which is this YouTube channel, which is probably the hardest thing that I've started to date, but I'm very excited to keep on it and keep on it and make my content better and better. <clears throat> I'll try to do less commute videos because those seem to one be the ones that don't get the views and more chalkboard videos um, which obviously involve a lot more detail and a lot more time so more of them to come please hang in there subscribe like and all that and, you know just bring up recommendations and I'll I can make a video on that um, also in 2018 I started Instagram um, created a separate channel for investing in general. It's called The Broke Investor, just like this YouTube channel. Um, trying to build up followers all the time. I try to, you know, network with people of similar mentality. Sometimes people ask me questions. Sometimes I ask people questions. Um, it, it also makes me do more research because I, <clears throat> obviously, I do a lot of posting and I need to most of the time look into it myself before I make the posting so I like Instagram it's a lot of fun um, meeting a lot of people online at least and it helps me share my YouTube channel as well um, and I know there's other there's ways you can make money on Instagram but I'm not quite there yet because I need more followers but in time um, hopefully it'll be uh, well worth it uh, also in 2018, I kind of, uh, well, I started my dividend portfolio in 2017 <clears throat> and 2018, I kind of cleaned it up somewhat and I also added a whole bunch of additional shares. So I think right about now I'm at 37, um, different holdings, you know, across sectors, across everything. So... <clears throat> And I've added to that throughout the year, you know, here and there as I get paid, based on a lot of things, mainly the cost of each stock, but also trying to maintain my monthly uh, increase month over month, which was 10% last year. Uh, this year will be 9% month over month, <clears throat> which will get harder and harder, obviously. So. Uh, in 2018, I also have created a Facebook group. That group is called Retire on Dividends. That group is growing substantially every day. And people, a lot of people on there are great. And they're helping out each other along with me each and every day. So that's also another great networking tool <clears throat> with people who have the same idea. And that's Retire on Dividends which obviously is my goal. I want to retire early and live off dividends, along with other passive income as I go. So, so that was basically 2018. Well, actually 2018, I also discovered uh, Dave Ramsey and some things that he says are sticking with me, one of which is pay off your debts, smallest to largest versus pay off your debts, highest interest rate to lowest. And his mentality makes sense because if you start with lowest to highest, then you'll actually get somewhere and you'll physically, you'll pay something off. If you start with the highest, more than likely you're starting with the highest balance too. And it'll take you forever to get there and you'll get discouraged and you'll probably quit. However, if you pay off the smallest balance first, and you actually do pay off a balance, you finish up, you know, paying off one of your debts, 
that's cause for celebration. It makes you feel good inside. It makes you want to continue. So that's the main thing I took away from his channel, along with enjoying the content. He has people calling all the time with all these different issues. It's kind of funny too, but I love it, honestly. Uh, but one thing, again, I took away, which I highly recommend to everyone or anyone with debt, pay off your debt smallest to largest. Obviously, your house is your house. You can't pay that thing off. But that'll be the last thing you pay off. But like credit card wise, and school loans, and 401k loans, and any kind of stupid loans, car loans, whatever loan you have, try to pay them off smallest to largest, you know, best you can. So, so that's basically 2018 in a nutshell. Um, it was a good year overall. Uh, and. You know, I got into Robin Hood in 2017, but overall, I still want to thank Robin Hood for being out there and available and offering commission-free trades, because without that, I would have never gotten into investing, never gotten into all this YouTube crap, and never gotten into Instagram, all that, etc. So, you know, one thing leads to another, um, and there's a lot of opportunity out there that people don't know about. So now we'll just talk about 2019 and what are my um, what are my goals. Obviously, I want to continue to put into my uh, dividend portfolio. My goal uh, right now I'm at around thirty dollars a month income in dividends. By the end of this year, 2019, I want to average a hundred dollars per month in dividends. Um, so obviously that's gonna be kind of challenging, but I, I think I could do it. Another goal for 2019 is I'm going to look into another passive income source, and that would be peer-to-peer -peer lending. Um, there's a lot of peer-to-peer -peer lending platforms. One is Lending Club, which is the only one that I find available in my state, of course. But um, So once I gather you know, $1,000, then, because that is the minimum, I, I plan on starting my lending club account and beginning my peer-to-peer -peer lending uh, passive income journey. Um, there's also another one that I may dip into, which is kind of like peer-to-peer -peer lending. It's called crowdfunding. Um, that, there's lower minimums, like there's rich uncles, it's like a $5 minimum. And there's a couple other ones, Fundrise, but that's a thousand minimum. Fundrise, I guess, is the favorite. It's the more well-known one. Un Rich Uncles is kind of new, so not sure. I, d I need to do a little more research, um, so I'm not positive I'm going to do that. Peer-to-peer -peer lending with Lending Club, I'm definitely going to do, but uh, Rich Uncles is up for debate. Um, the, another goal for 2019 is I'm going to pay off all my debt besides my mortgage. So, as I mentioned with the whole Dave Ramsey thing, I did listen to him. And I paid off three debts last year. Three, three of my smaller debts that I, that I probably would have let linger. So, I only have, uh, I have three more debts to pay, not including the mortgage, for this year. So plan on getting rid of them and that way I can use all of my true active slash earned income and invest it or save it or do whatever I want um, more freely rather than forcefully pay these minimum payments or whatever payments towards my bills so obviously in 2019 there will be a lot more networking um, I plan on making my Instagram page better, my YouTube page a hell of a lot better, and my Facebook page, um, well, my Facebook page is working on its own. People make it better every, every day, so, anyway, I've been feeling like shit, but I'm driving to work, so why not throw on the video and make a little summary of last year and talk about my goals for this year so um, anyway I hope you all enjoyed this video there will be a lot more content to come um, in the coming months this year 
Uh, my next video will be Coca-Cola versus Pepsi versus Dr. Pepper stocks. Which one is, you know, which one's the best? So, similar to my uh, bank video, comparing the banks, I'm gonna compare the sodas of the world. Because um, I know a lot of people, especially invest in Coke and Pepsi, but have they looked at their financials? Have they looked at their history and how their growth is coming? So far, what I've, the research I've done, I'm not impressed, honestly, but um, to be continued, I'll, uh, I'll get that posted sooner than later. All right, sorry for the groggy voice, but um, the flu and crap is just about leaving my system. So I'm almost 100% and good to go. Um, thanks for tuning in. I'll talk to you soon. Have fun at work.